Hi, welcome back to Captivating Makeup. I'm your host, Emma. And today we're gonna to be trying on some new makeup. Uh, I got a couple new items, but before I introduce them, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you can afford. And if you don't like my videos, I'll see you on the way out. Bye. All right, so some of the items I am looking at today are some new releases, some popular releases, just new items. The first one is going to be the Bella Beauté Bar Dead Roses palette. It came in the other day and I couldn't help swatching it a little bit. So the palette is a little dirty because one of the shades is more of a foiled kind of textured shade. So it kind of flaked a little as I was playing with it. But this is what the palette looks like. It's full of these beautiful pinks and reds and purples. I think I'm going to play with the purples today. We are also going to be playing with the Panorama Voluminous Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm going to be trying the NYX Professional Setting Spray today. And I might play with a new lip product, just depends on how this eye look goes. So we're going to start with the palette. I have already primed and set my eyes. I did not do that the other day and I was very upset because everything was sliding back and forth, back and forth. Might also have been because I used glitter and sometimes when I use those like glitter, uh, chunky glitters, the base kind of makes everything a little bit more slippy slidey. But today, everything's set, everything's ready to go. And we're gonna start, I believe with the single AF color. So that single AF color is right there. And I'm gonna start with that. If you hear a barking noise, that is just my dog. She obviously has found something to bark at. So don't pay her too much mind. So I'm just gonna start right here by packing this color in to this inner corner and then blending it out. So far, they look really pigmented on the eyelid and they're seeming to blend well. I'm not having any problem moving the product around, which is good on my part. And it seems that pigment really like travels far. And I just dipped a little bit into that one. All right, so now I'm kind of, hmm. I think I'm gonna do the next one, which is You're the Worst. It's this purple shade down here. I was gonna use A, B, C, D, E, F, U, but I think You're the Worst is gonna go with this color better than the, the other one. So I'm gonna change brushes because I don't want the colors to mix. We're gonna tap off a little bit and then we're gonna dab that color into the outer part of the lid. Okay, so this one, this one might be having a little bit of trouble. Maybe I tapped off too much. Maybe I didn't put enough on because this one's not spreading as far, but he, there's the pigment, so that's good. And then we're just gonna blend that outwards, see if we can get some pigment going. So purples are really hard to manufacture and to create. So that light purple was pretty impressive, but I'm starting to have some problems with this darker shade. As you can see right here, it's patchy a little and it's patchy right here too. So I'm gonna see if I can get that to deepen up a little bit and put some pigment there. And I think, I think we're getting the pigmentation that I want. This just took a little bit more effort to get it to where I want it. We're just gonna fill that in right there, that little gap. 
Now I'm gonna try and blend that line together so it's not so stark on the lid. I want it all nice and blended. All right, okay, I think I got, I think I got it where I want it. I am gonna put some glitter glue on. Ooh, and there's two colors that are really, like really speaking to me here. Really speaking to me, and it is that, ooh, I think I know which one I'm gonna use, but it's that drop dead color right here and the bite me color. Yes. Yes, that says bite me. Bite me color right here. But I think I'm gonna go with that color. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, the drop dead color, not the as if, drop dead. So we're gonna get that glitter glue. We're gonna apply that to the eyelid. All right. And then I'm gonna get a flat brush. I'm gonna see how well drop dead goes onto my brush. All right, so the, the pan's a little emollient, but it looks like I'm getting a good amount, right there, good amount of product on, which is good for me. And we're just gonna start tapping, ooh, oh. So the one, one of the things I love about Bella Beauté Bar is their shimmers, because their shimmers are just gorgeous. Like I am just, ah, oh, it's so pretty. We're just gonna finish putting that one in. We're gonna clean up the edges a little. And then a little more of the You're the Worst shade. We're just gonna pat it in where that shimmer shade is, hitting that darker corner. And a color swipe a little bit. Get a little bit more single AF. Hmm. All right, we're gonna take it there's the shimmer. As you can see, it's all shifty and pretty. And it goes well with the eye look. A little contrast from the purple because it's got a little bit of a pinky, goldy, purpley shift. Now I'm gonna see how it works with my little packing, my little packed brush here. I'm gonna use the Yes, I'm going to use the single AF shade and we're going to just swipe it under here. And it seems to be blending out well. I'm getting good pigmentation under the eye. So this shade works really well. I like the single AF shade. The You're the Worst shade does need a little bit more blending. And then the shimmers, of course, are just bam, pop, right there, all up in your, all up in your face. So I have no problem with the shimmer so far. That is awesome. And this is how the first eye is going to look. And we're gonna get, I'm gonna do my other eye and then we're gonna do mascara. So I'll be right back. So I'm not done with my other eye yet. I told you I'd come back, but I wanted to discuss right here. So there's a little patch of my skin that is just not taking the pigment as well as the others. I'm gonna try and cover it up, but it seems like the more I try to pack, the less it's willing to stick. I'm gonna try to fix it and I'll be right back. All right, both eyes are done now. Not too shabby. I do like what I'm seeing so far. 
just a warning, the shimmers are very emollient. So they, they will move around a lot more. So if you do mess with them a little bit, they will move from their place, which is why, you know, a good glitter glue keeps everything where you want it, things like that. So don't worry too much about that. I did clean up a little bit with concealer, but so far good. There is some kick up in the palette, just so you know, if that bothers you, maybe not, but they are purples. So they do need to be formulated a certain way. So that could possibly be it or how well it, it well, not how well, how hard it was pressed and they may not have wanted to press it hard so they could get a lot of pigmentation. So with that, I am going to get this Panorama L'Oreal mascara out. We're gonna use it. All right, so I like the wand. I like those kind of skinny pine cone triangle shaped wands. So that's good. Let's see how the formula is though. Right, so we're gonna put on one coat. All right, first coat, it's pretty black, so that's good. I like a black mascara. Not too bad. Going over it again to get rid of any clumps or clumpy areas. And now the bottom lashes. All right, first eye. Not bad. It's definitely given me some volume in my lashes. It's definitely black, so it shows up. I do have a laugh lash. <laughs> I do have a lash lift, so I can't say much about how it lifts, but it is doing what I want it to do. I'm not seeing a ton of transfer. It is, ooh, from what I feel, it is a wetter formula, which I don't like a lot of the times because it does take some time to dry. And be careful not to touch it to the eye look I worked so hard on. Because if I do, I'm going to be very upset. I do not like wet, wet mascara on my eyelash, on my looks. Doesn't it just drive you bonkers when you put on mascara and you're looking at it and everything's fine and then you notice that some mascara got on your eyeshadow? Like it's right on the eyelid, it's not like it got close to the eye, like the lash line or anything like that. Just right dab in the middle of the lid. That is the worst feeling, especially trying to clean it up. I hate cleaning that up. Ooh, I really don't like that it is a wetter formula, which means it's gonna take longer to dry. And I can already see that my lower lashes are touching the bottom of my eye and it's starting to leave marks, which I'm not thrilled about. Ooh, I am scared to fix it. I'm scared it's gonna, t my sponge is gonna touch that wet mascara and it's gonna ruin everything. I mean, it looks nice. Not exactly what I like it to to look, but it looks nice. Oh, no. Speak of the devil. Oh, it got, it got there. Oh, dear. All right, so I, I got some mascara on my eyelid. And I'm looking and I'm seeing a l I just touched it up, but I saw a little bit of movement in my crease. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ding it for it moving in my crease. At least not too bad. 
because I've noticed a lot of mas- not mascaras, a lot of eyeshadows do that in the crease area of my eyelid where it starts to bald. And I'm not sure how to fix that yet. I've been working on trying to fix it, but I haven't quite figured out what's causing it to do that in my crease there. Maybe I'm just putting too much, maybe I'm putting too much product on or something like that. I want to put something in the waterline, but I don't know what to put. So I'm going to take a minute to figure that out, put on some of the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We have some blush on, some bron- uh, not bronzer, ah, uh, contour. So we have some contour on, we have some blush on. I used the Pat McGrath one in Divine Rose. I uh, set my face with powder, and now I'm going to use the Marshmallow NYX Setting Spray. So it's supposed to be a matte finish, and it's supposed to lock in my makeup. So let's give it a try. Whoa, Whoa that is... Okay, so it does have a strong scent of marshmallow. I like the marshmallow scent, but if you are not into scents, that might not be something you're interested in. But it is, it smells really nice. We're gonna let my face dry before we finish up the look. See if it does actually start to mattify my face, because right now my face looks kind of shiny. And that might just be from all the liquid on my face. While that dries a little a little more, we're going to do my lips. I'm gonna take off that foundation that got on my lips. And we're going to line our lips with a tried and true, it's the ColourPop Limpy Pencil in O Snap. It's a beautiful, cool toned pink. And I love a cool toned pink needs to be sharpened. That's what it needs. We're gonna, I'm gonna take my finger. You can use a brush if you like. And I'm just gonna blend in those lines a little bit. Just so it all looks like me. Clean off that finger. I hate having makeup on my fingers, yet I use my fingers a lot. <laughs> Wonder why that is. Oh, and we are going to use a new lip. So I have the Color Key Better Together Fairy Lip Mirror series from the their Barbie collection. The packaging is so cute with the little like Barbies. And I got this off Yes Style because I do not. That's where I do a lot of my K Beauty, J Beauty things like that. That's where I get a lot of those. And here is the actual component. How freaking cute is that? It feels a little rubbery, which is interesting, but the bow is cute, the Barbie, all that. And the color, it doesn't say what the color is. I do have a number, which is P723. And it looks like a glossy kind of formula if I put it on, oh yeah. So it's definitely got some pigment, but it's definitely more glossy looking. That smells like grape candy. I freaking love that. It smells like grape candy. It's kind of a purpley pink color. Definitely a cooler toned option, which is what I am always looking for because I feel like the cool tones just look better. We're just gonna... Oh, that's pretty. Huh. This reminds me of... Have any of you guys had the... They're like little candies from Korea and they're shaped... They're like... I don't know, they're blue looking. And the packaging makes it look like the world. That's what this smells like. 
Like specifically, that's what that smells like. If you've never had those, the closest thing I can get to that is grape candy. Like it is grape candy, but not like the medicine grape candy, like a good, like grape tasting candy. Now we're gonna clean up our lips. Cause that is cute. It's a just a little tint of color, but it is so darling. I don't know who I am to be saying darling. Just so it's a little clean. Okay, I like how my lips look. It's it's very natural looking, but still like a little shiny at the same time. Just a little bit of color, just a little mirror effect. Oh, that explains that. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Color key and Barbie for the win there. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's wrap up my opinions here. Dead Roses palette. I have not played with the pinks. I probably should play with the pinks just to get an idea of how they look. Because I love, I love a good pink. Adore a good pink. And that You Wish color right here. Ugh, that You Wish color is such a neutral dream. And I love meh up here. I'm a little scared of I Need Space, which is this like hot pink color, but I'm willing to try it too. And I'm a little scared of that textured uh, shimmer shade called Friend Zone. That's because eyeshadow gets everywhere and I feel like it's not as easily easy to be precise. But I like this palette so far. The deeper purple didn't play as well as the lighter purple did, but I'm going to just have to play around and see if the other deeper colors are like that or if maybe it's just this purple. But I think I got a pretty solid look out of this. Like, I'm not mad at it. Definitely not mad at it. And the Panorama Mascara. I think it did okay. It's not giving me as much of an eyelash effect as I would like. How did fluff... There is fluff in my eyelashes. I don't know how that got there. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I don't like the wet formula as much as maybe other people would enjoy it. I can see why people would like it, but it's just not my cup of tea because I, I feel like I'm not getting the effect I want out of that mascara. I'm checking to see if there's any balding going on in the crease. But it, it looks like there is a little bit. So I'm going to clean that up first and foremost. I'm just going to have to play around with this palette a little more. Like I was so excited for this palette and for it to come to me and things like that. And I'm not thrilled with the balding or the that darker color. I mean, the darker color eventually like got to where I wanted it to. But it, I feel like it just took a while. So I want to play with the pinks in this before I give my final verdict on it. But even if the pinks are like fantastic, fabulous, whatever, like that's a whole like purple side of the palette that you're not having access to if it's not working on your skin. Maybe I should take that. No, I am going to give it a second chance. I think it needs just another go around. Because I swatched the colors, the colors look great, and swatches don't determine everything, but I wanna give this palette another chance because, like, look at it, it's so pretty, and the colors are stellar. I just, I think I need to give it another shot before I give any final verdicts on it. And the Panorama Mascara, I probably wouldn't buy this again. It's not a horrible formula, but it's just not giving my lashes the oomph that I enjoy. So maybe not, maybe not this one either. So I wouldn't suggest the L'Oreal mascara. I'm gonna give the Dead Roses palette another shot because maybe, maybe I just did something wrong 
on my end. Maybe it's my glitter glue that is making everything slipping and sliding. So maybe next time I'll try it without the glitter glue and see if it doesn't bald in those areas. The Marshmallow Setting Spray from NYX. I like how it smells. I see some places that are really matte on my face. And then some places I don't see it as much, like my forehead, for example, I feel still looks a little shiny, but for the most part, my face looks pretty matte. Uh, and that might just be the light that's shining on my big ass forehead that is giving that impression. So we'll see. I am definitely going to see how it performs during the day, see how it holds up comparatively just just give it a chance to like work its magic throughout the day now the color key let me make sure I got this correct airy lip mirror series love I am loving this I usually do not like a glossy lip but the color is cute. That little shine is cute. It's definitely giving a nudish lip, but just a tinge of that purpley pink. And I think it goes really well with the light pink, that cool toned light pink liner. And I love the smell. The packaging is everything. Just the detail that went into this is phenomenal. Like I can't, I can't give it enough praise for how this looks and how the formula feels. It's very comfortable on my lips. I haven't, I really can't even feel it on my lips unless I, you know, mix together. But overall, I think it's cute. I'm going to see how it lasts throughout the day, but 10 out of 10 for color key. I like this a lot. And I feel like people sleep on these K-Beauty brands and these J-Beauty brands, but they are killing it with the products, especially if you like that dewy or glowy or glass skin look. Like, Asia, man, they do great stuff. Great stuff. Ah, well, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, comment below if there is anything you want to say. Maybe you played with the Dead Roses palette and you loved it. Or maybe you like the Panorama Mascara. I am always up for changing my mind and trying things multiple times to see if maybe I just was having an off day. I'm always willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. So comment below, do you like any of these products? Do you not like any of these products? Are you excited to try any of these products? Down in the comments. I'm sure I would love to read what y'all have said. All right. Have a good day, y'all, and thank you for watching.